Uh -huh. Now, about the Judas thoughts that I was going to talk about today. Judas in the Bible, Jesus really, really loved Jesus, uh, Judas. Jesus loved him. It's why he picked him to be among the 12. But everybody, I think, knows the story that, that Judas betrays Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He sold him out. Now, metaphysically, we say that Judas represents sense consciousness, the separation thinking of the world, you know, that the power is outside of us. And I think, what does this have to do with us? Well, we teach that we are all made in the image and likeness of God, you know, that we are spiritual beings on a path of evolution. We're here to grow, to learn, to celebrate, to heal, to evolve, to express life and express it more abundantly. Like Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So this is the I am, the Christ, not him personally. So we have divinity within us, we teach, and it's always there and it can never be diminished. However, because we have free will, because we have choice, we can be Judas in our own life. And I know I have been to myself, and I suspect perhaps you have also, that we can betray the truth within us. So truth is, Science of Mind says that we are the perfect offspring of the divine, that we are the children of the Most High God. We are whole, perfect, and complete right now. We are love, we are abundance, we are life. We lack nothing, that's the truth. And I think on some level, we all know this is what draws us here. And yet we become Judas to the full expression of the God potential that is within us. How do we betray ourselves, our higher selves? I think we come from the past in our perceptions of ourselves or we hear someone else's voice in our head, some limiting idea, some limiting scenario. We see ourselves as perhaps limited or small or not much or not good enough. We see ourselves as the mistakes that we have made in the past. See, we are living life from the outside in rather than from the inside out, which is what we want to do as students of science of mind.